Hello, Lynette here in Australia and welcome to my channel, Bells Uniques. Um, the video cut off and as I said, I'm new to all of this, so I don't really know how. I haven't looked into doing the editing or anything at this stage, so I'm just going to do this next part by itself. Um, so what I have done <laughs> is I have the bronze wax, the metallic wax here and this is basically the final step for the cover I'm just rubbing this beautiful cream over the top of my painted cover okay so with my finger I'm just rubbing it in and getting it on that stand so you can still see plenty of that beautiful green gold in underneath and then it brings out all this beautiful texture which is just gorgeous. So we're just rubbing it in. Just gently across the top to start with so we don't get too heavy and then smearing it in a bit bit harder so that it brings out that color so the other thing you can also do <clears throat> is this gilders paste which i think you can also get in different colors but i've got this one in the green which i've seen i've seen someone use using both of these and that's that's how I've got onto it um, sorry don't ask me how or where because I've seen so much online um, this is basically like shoe polish and you can go over the top and it just gives it that little darker sort of look and that sort of grungier so I don't do it on everything, just on little bits. Um, and then sometimes I'll even go over those little bits because it sometimes grabs that little bit better and it goes into those little creases that little bit better. It's quite warm here in Australia today. We are supposed to be getting rain and it's very muggy. Okay, so I'm just going to go in around this eye and I've got this old brush that I even cut at one stage, which is a no-no, but um, I'm just going to use that to get in around the eye properly because my fingers are too big and not too much because you want to see the color in underneath and then I just get my cotton tip and run back over his eye Then some more of this paste around it. It just brings it alive. So the other thing I will also do now, which I should have got out first, sorry, is I have these gorgeous little hooks. Um that I like to put on and I usually forget to do it when I'm supposed to so I'm trying to remember to do it now <clears throat> because I'll often get my signatures glued in and then think oh no I forgot to put the tassel hoop in so I just get my pokey hole thing and that's about the middle there just 
sort of move it around and make it a bit bigger. I do have a bigger one actually over here. This one's a bit thicker, which is really good, which I just got from Choice here in Australia. So that makes it a better, easier hole. And I'm just going to poke that through. And these are just fantastic. As I said, I saw someone else have them and I just had to have them and got them off Amazon. And then I'm just going to turn that there. So then that will then be covered when um, I put my signatures in. So I've also painted around the inside of the frame and I had, um, I don't know if I mentioned in the first video, that I had, oh, these are all sitting up as well, um, the, the paper, the parchment paper, the grease proof paper was sort of poking right up. So I've gone along with some glue and just sort of pushed it down a little bit so that it wasn't too far up, but it's still given it a nice uneven <laughs> It seems silly doesn't it but an uneven edge so there's interest in texture there and I like that so this one here is poking up a little bit I might just get a little bit of glue in there and sit that down a little bit but down around the bottom here you can see that that was quite short so I haven't bothered to fold that over and that there just left it so I feel like this might need a bit more contrast so I'm going to put this green over the top of some of it but there's a really beautiful shimmer in this and with all the glue that we've used um, it it doesn't need that much of a sealing like I have a, a matte spray that I'll probably spray on it that I usually spray on them and then um, otherwise you can do another PVA glue and and then just another little bit of this over the top which is quite cool now to, to me I'm thinking I'm wondering if that's not glued down properly in there it looks like a bit of a bubble so I'm just going to go in there sorry skin and just put that little bit more glue in and just sort of rub it in And this will leave it shiny now with the glue on top, but um, the, the rubs will take that away, so I'm not worried about that. So once we've done all of this, basically your cover is ready to put your signatures in. And for me, I will sew my signatures into some material and then I will glue it all in. So it's um, nice and secure. Now this one's mostly dry, so I might just give this a little bit of... See, I think I'm wondering if this is too close of colour to the bronze so I'm going to use this green over the top of the paint first this is seriously just an experiment the whole thing was an experiment to start with and these colors here I haven't done before so it is also an experiment so I'm just going to go over this with the Gilders paste just to sort of tone that down a little bit more 
and you get it everywhere like it'll be in my it stains your nails I should probably use gloves but I don't I don't um, think about it and I sort of rush at everything so who has the time to stop and put on gloves <laughs> I'm terrible so then I'm going to get some of this beautiful bronze yeah that made a difference didn't it and you can still see some of that color like there's that little crease of yellow in there which is beautiful and that bit of crease of red and we might even just oh that was the wrong one so I'll just pop that on there might even just do just a tiny rub over at the top so you can still see quite a bit of the black come through and so you can see these paintbrush strokes and I like that that's just extra texture makes it yum now that's a bit thick in there so I'm just going to get this rough brush and rub over it And um, go over this little bit here. And it just starts to come alive. It's just amazing. So I'll use this Gilda's Wax and around the eye. And look at in between the eggshells that red and yellow popping in there. It's just really fantastic. So the um, the orange that I did before on this box was just too much. And it needed that dark colour in underneath to make it um, pop and be appreciated, I guess. That needs that contrast of colour. So that was a good little learning thing for myself. So we'll just pop this, just make sure you can see everything over the rest of this colour. And I'm much happier with this than, than when it was just the full orange much much happier and I don't mind that this bottom part will have more color in it I think it's quite lovely to have different um, colors all over it different depths of color and it makes it more interesting to me You should let this dry a little bit before I rub too much more on and then I'll come back and touch it up and with a little bit more of the bronze so basically that is what I do and this one yeah I'm not sure what I'll do with the tassel part because it's not going to have like a spine this is just going to be a, a one signature so I might put an eyelet in maybe yeah I think I'll probably end up putting an eyelet in for the tassel because I, I love doing tassels I really love adding a tassel to a journal and I, I like getting quite creative with them so I love this little bit of black coming in and then that little bit of colour. It's just beautiful. I might just get a little bit of this just gently dusting over around the eye. Not too much. You can 
can see all that texture coming out it's just fantastic so I just do a little bit more down here and then that cover is basically done I will have another look once it has dried and see if I feel like it needs anything anywhere else but it would just be um, either one of these that I would use or um, I might get a paintbrush, a thin, a tiny paintbrush like this, which is just little, and go into a couple of little creases with either the red or black. But I wouldn't do much at all, maybe you know once I've gone over it again with a bit more of the bronze I might feel like it might not need it because there is so much texture in it anyway and we are focusing on this beautiful eye so there we go that is the process I use for my dragon creations and I hope you have a go and really enjoy it I I love it and I really would love to see your work yourself that that you do yourself so please message me and show me your work I'd really love to see and um, thank you so much for watching thank you for subscribing I'm just so grateful to you all and I will see you in another video thank you